What's up guys? It's Ryantium here, and today we are back in The Witcher 3 The Wild Hunt. And that's right you guys, and no snap! It's gonna be an awesome freaking day. So guys, welcome back, and happy, what is today, Wednesday I think? Yeah, I think today's Wednesday. We'll go ahead and call it Wednesday. So, hopefully everyone is ready for another great day in The Witcher. Appreciate all the support that we've had so far on The Witcher, both telling me about it in the live streams, as well as down there in the comment sections. I know this game's a little bit interesting, kinda slow to get into at first, but I assure you things are bound to get more exciting as time goes on. So thank you for coming along with me. I don't know what's going on with my, my elbows there. What are those little yellow things dangling off of me? Are those my tassels? I think those are my tassels. <laughs> They're really bright yellow. So in the last episode, we left off here in the town of White Orchard, and we're supposed to ask the Nilfgaardians about Yennefer. Now, I'm not going to do that just yet, because I want to see how the side quest stuff works out. So we got two missions last time. We have this one, the Devil by the Well, as well as Missing an Action, Find Dune Vildenvert. We're going to try this one first, because I just am curious to see how this works. So let's go ahead and grab... How do I call that? Okay. Come here, Roach. Where is he at? Now, you'll, you'll find Roach is a little bit of a buggy horse as time goes on, if I remember correctly, and seeing the memes and shit like that all over iFunny and Twitter and everything, uh, Roach will sometimes find himself up on the rooftop, you know, bent halfway across a bridge. He's a, he's a special horse, that's for sure. <laughs> but we'll just go ahead and ride through the forest here, and we'll see where that brings us. Points of interest. The world is brimming with interesting places filled with your danger... Such as sites are marked on your minimap with the following icons. Monster nest, dungeon, hidden treasure. Okay. Is there anything? Once you've explored a location, its icon on the map will be grayed out. Um. Okay. There's something on this tree over here. Is this is this a beehive? It is a beehive. I, see, I saw that from all the way over here. Let's go ahead and put the, uh, the magic shield on, just in case the bees start to get angry. Do I shoot it or something? It looks like something that it is you can gra it is something that you can grab, but I think you'd have to knock it off the tree first, possibly. Let's see, can I even hit up that hit hit up that far, or do I need that crossbow thingy? <laughs> I think I need the crossbow. I'm not sure because it doesn't look like I can hit it <laughs> from down here. Okay, that's fine. Um, but let's see. It brought that up for a reason, so I'm curious to see if there's something around us that has those symbols on it. There's a few places around us. We've got... A ho wow, holy question marks. Wow, holy question marks. Jeez, okay. Alright, so we'll, we'll probably do a lot of exploring, make sure we have all those question marks unmarked. That way we're, we know exactly where everything's at. But okay, we can go ahead and put my sword away. And let's head over to the ransacked village. Okay, wait a second. There's a question mark over here, but it says it has a red arrow on it, so it looks like it's underneath. Maybe it's underneath of the bridge. I'm wheezing right now. I don't know if you can hear little, the little uh, sharp breath sounds. I don't know what's going on right now, but I think I'm okay. Uh, what if I jump over this way? Smuggler's cash. Ooh, okay, loot. Coal and leather straps, okay. What else do we have? Leather scraps and black pearl dust. That sounds important. Empty bottle, lesser vellus ru a rune stone. Okay. Amber dust and oil. Notice how the back picture changes color sometimes. I wonder if that's a rarity thing. Leather scraps, iron ore. I think it is. Dark iron ore and lesser parent rune stone. This all sounds super cool, but I have no fucking clue what it is. But I'm going to go ahead and say that we finished that because the icon on the map is now all grayed out. So that's kind of cool. Okay, so that's a smuggler's cache. Neat. All right, so we're only 154 steps away from the town, so I'll keep you guys here. But come on, Roach. Let's go, buddy. Ooh, but there's a barrel right there. Hang on. Hold the phone. Can we search something in that barrel? Or is this just a dead end? Let's see. Ooh, you can go underwater, too. And it looks like there might be... Oh, there's another thing on the other side of there as well. This might be an explosive barrel. I think. Because there was nothing that said to loot it. But I think that might be an explosive barrel. But it looks like there might be... Some other barrels in the water right here. And I wonder, is there something underwater too? 
Let's see, I can't climb as Geralt, I don't think. What button did it say to dive? Hold X. Okay. Keep an eye on how much breath you have. Okay, that makes sense. Okay, so it doesn't look like there's anything over here. Oh, but there's more stuff right there. Or did I already get that? There's so much stuff here. I gotta make sure that I get it all. Alright, let me get back on land. Okay, so I walked a little bit further down the beach to try and find a way up, and I think we've got our first little fight coming with actual things out in the wild. Also, a few more loot boxes down here as well. Leather straps. Those don't look human. I mean, they look humanoid, but they don't look like they're going to be human. So I'm going to take out my silver sword. Drowners. And they're also level 4. Should we try this? I don't know if we should try this. They're fast or whatever the fuck they are. Oh my god, they, they're creepy looking, dude. Oh, we're, we're kicking their ass there. Oh, hell yeah. Okay, we're going to read that as soon as we're done killing this this thing. Ooh, parry! What? Lost your nerve? Got it, got it. And put the shield back on, because now... Oh, I changed, uh, I changed my sign by accident. Oh, but that's a cool one. I like that. It slows him down. Also, I just cut his left arm off. That's awesome. Drowner tongue and monster eyes? What the hell is all this? Oh, look at the blood. That's so gross. They got some strange looking bellies, too. Goodness. But that one doesn't have any loot. Oh, wait, it does right there. Water. Oh, wait, no, that was the bag. A whole bunch of stuff over here. Okay, this was actually a good stop. Because the water, I think, is going to help heal us as well. But I wonder if this is what these dead bodies are from, or those drowners, most likely. Let's see. Coal. And another dead body. I just gotta get back up to the dam, up to Roach, but there's a few more right there. I'm gonna go and heal myself just a little bit more by eating my bread that we got in the last episode. Oh, guarded treasure. <gasps> oh, the plot thickens, dude. Okay, and we're right next to our, um, our place that we need to be, which is really good. But I'm curious to see what this guarded treasure is. Let's see what we got. Alright, it's going to be three on one. And you know what? I'm curious. I wonder if fire is a really good thing to use against these things. Because they they come from the water. Part of me... Th oh, yes. abso fucking lootly That's a great one. Part of me thinks that that's going to do a whole lot more damage to them. But they do a lot of damage to me because they're much higher level than I am. Oh, hell yeah, dude. <laughs> Oh, the combat in this game feels so damn good. I will say, getting the timing down for parries and blocking and stuff like that, it's tough for me because I have such bad timing. But I'm not fleeing the battlefield because I just cut his damn head off. That was amazing. Ooh! Vicovaro Blade, Resin, Lesser Vela's Runestone, Diagram for the Sidarian Gambeson, and the Manuscript Page of the Tawny Owl. Item diagrams. Take diagrams to craftsmen with proper skills to have them craft the item for you. Okay, that was only one box. There's two boxes there. Can I can I get the other one? Hunting boots, powdered pearl, lesser tree glove rune stone, Dorian sword, and a torn out page. Ekamara decoction. I have no idea what the hell we just got, but it has really cool names, and I love it. I love every bit of it. Um, okay, none of this stuff has loot. Holy crap, that was awesome. <laughs> so it pays to explore in this game, that's for sure. Um, but okay, we're badly hurt, and there's a few things that we need to do. So first, we're going to meditate just about about 23 hours. I know it seems like a waste of time to just sit in the same place for 23 hours, but it's going to regenerate our health as well. Then we also need to come down to the bestiary and read the new Drowners page. When at the water's edge, you gotta be quiet, first of all, so as not to scare the fish, second, so you don't attract drowners. A drowner resembles a corpse dredged from the bottom of a pond. It is sickly blue or green in color with slime and sludge oozing out of every pore and the acrid stench of rot wafting off of it. That's a mouthful. That is why it often... That is why... That is why it is often thought drowners, along with their more dangerous cousins, vodniks, mucknixers, and drowned dead... Arise from the bodies of those who drown in shallow water. Lost travelers falling into bogs, children who swim too far from the shore, or in the case of Vodniks, inebriated peasants who stumble off narrow swamp trails? What the fuck? 
That is, that is just screwed up. But vulnerable against necrophage oil and igni. So I was right. That's a, that's a cool instinct that I had. Vulnerable against necrophage oil. So the oils. We got an oil in the last episode, and I'm curious to see what that means. Vulnerable against a, a bomb. Every, I think everything is vulnerable against a bomb. Hybrid oil? Whoa. And ard. So it tells you how to beat them with like specific uh, abilities and stuff like that. Uh, but now, let's check this out. There's the oil that I got. Tawny oil. Okay, so I don't think that's the same thing. I'm not sure though. But we can go ahead and put on this weapon. It's a steel sword. Plus 5 damage, plus 21 armor piercing. And it's a master item. Oh, cool, dude. <laughs> now, what is this? Okay. Um, I got some boots. 1% resistance. Okay, so those are better boots. Oh, and they're white, too. Nice. Chance to stun. Rune stone placed in an empty socket on a sword to improve its traits. Ooh, adrenaline point gain. Sign intensity. So I can equip this onto my new sword. <gasps> and now my sword is kind of enchanted, maybe? And now the storm is gone, thankfully. But let's see, that's the silver sword. The one that I got was a steel sword. Oh, <gasps> no fucking way. It glows with runes on it? You're kidding me. <laughs> that's so cool. Holy shit. Okay, I need to get back onto the road because we need to go. I just spent like an extra 10 minutes here without even knowing what the hell was going on. Goodness gracious, so I'll meet you guys in the uh, the little place that we're supposed to be at. Okay, this looks like a wonderful place. We just passed three hanging people and now there's two more. This is just great. Freaking wonderful. What is going on with this place down here? Hmm? Someone want to explain to me why there's somebody hanging and why there's a boy in a ditch? What the hell's going on here? All right, but let's see. I believe who we're supposed to find is right there, Dune Vildenvert. He's got a cute dog. Do that often? Talk to your dog? It's my brother's, Bastion's. But I guess he's mine now. Aww. See, Bastion fought the Black Ones in a battle just outside the village. I haven't had word of him since. I told him, do like I did. Lose a finger or two so they won't recruit you. <laughs> so damn the feared he was. Bloody hell. Walked the battlefield? I'd walk the battlefield if I were you. I did. Sea of corpses and corpses feeding. Someone told me they were feared of fire, so I took a torch, tried to chase them off. Horse shite, I tell you. Would have ended up eaten alive if it weren't for Hussar here. Oh. Listen, I'm guessing you carry those swords for more than show. Come with me. Keep the ghouls off. Help me find Bastion and I'll pay you well. Oh, I'd love to do that. Are you kidding me? That's cool. I can help Fine. him find his brother. I'll help you. I'm just. It's been a few days since the battle. Chances we find your brother alive are slim. Very slim. Who would have thought? But I want to find his body at least. So Bastion don't rot there in the sun with the black ones. Who are Meet these the black ones? Overlooking the battlefield. We'll move on together from there. Okay. So that's 247 steps away. Okay. So let's call Roach, let's get over there, and uh, I suppose if anything interesting happens within the 250 steps that it takes to get there, I'll bring you guys back in. Come on, Roach, I can run faster than you, you ass. Okay, something interesting's happening. Something very interesting is happening. There's a monster nest right here. What kind of monster is it? Hmm? Is it more of those drowners? So that I can slay them like I slayed the other ones? What have we got? Ghoul nest. A ghoul nest. It. You need a grape shot Samnum or a dancing bomb. You don't have the right bomb. Means I can't do anything to it, but it's full of ghouls? Great. Just fucking great. Okay, that wasn't as interesting as I was expecting. I wanted to actually blow it up, damn it. I guess we need bombs. Okay, here we go, White. I believe we're at the battlefield. And I imagine I'll probably just have to get off and talk to him. Meet Dune near the battlefield. Okay. Let's talk to him. Oh, yeah, good. Bastion. His body must be here somewhere. It's a hell of a battlefield. I am inside of Roach. What is going on? Could take a while. 
needn't fret. <laughs> I told you, he's glitchy as shit, man. A small flower on their shields, so as to be able to spot each other in battle. Oh my god. There was just a few of them. We look for the flowers, we'll find Bastion quick. Okay. No offense, but many a soldiers dropped his shield. Especially if he was on the losing side. If we find the shield alone, Hassan will catch the scent and lead us to Bastion. Come on. The sooner we get this done, the better. Okay. Objective areas. Find... Okay. Use your Witcher Sense to search for the Temerian shields with small white flowers painted on them. Okay. Easier said than done. There's probably a million of them on here. The when I can loot all of these? Are you kidding me? Can I loot, like... Uh, I know I'm not really supposed to loot dead bodies on a battlefield because it's kind of disrespectful. Oh, good ghouls! Wonderful! Oh, but there's a shield right there with the white lilies. Oh, these guys are easy. They're only level two. But I mean, so am I. I'm only level one. Why did that one turn red? Did you just see that? That was kind of creepy. Maybe it's like, a, ooh, ghoul's blood. That sounds nasty. Venom extracting ghoul's blood again. Let's see, got a whole bunch of bodies over here to loot. I know, quite disrespectful, I understand. But oh well, they're dead. They won't be needing it anymore. Um, okay. So it's somewhere in this object- Aha, there it is. I see it. Examine him. No. Doesn't look anything like him. Okay. But there is, uh, looks like there's a cache right here. Up on the map, you can see little red X's. I want to say those are little, like... Help yeah, yourself. that's exactly what they are. They're the spots of where loot is at. But there's another shield right there. Uh, skin's burned off. Might be hard to tell, I know, but could this be him? I, uh, Bastion was big, broad-shouldered. This one seems smaller, but maybe it's the fire did that. Okay, what about this guy? That him? No. He the neighbor's him. son. Caught, he sent. Come on. Oh. Wait, Hassan, okay. I guess we're following the dog now? That's fine. Is that a bad thing through the woods? I hope it's not. It's got red on it, but I hope it's not. But I'm gonna follow it just in case. What exactly is it? Or is that Hussar, the dog? Okay, that's the dog. <laughs> Whew, thank God. But there is more. My lieutenant demanded we defecate on command. Ballista bolts, landing all around. And all he could say was, A soldier with a full stomach will not step onto the battlefield. Now shit, that oh. is an order. Can you believe it? The cretin. Stop! Uh, you're, uh, you're killing me. My, my ribs. Uh, it hurts to laugh. Oh, that God. needs a tourniquet. But first, want to explain what's going on here? Bastion! Is he... Has this Nilf Guardian captured you? No! He saved my life. I, I got a cut to me side. And then got hit in the head. Couldn't see anything. Rosin here found me as... As he crawled across the battlefield. His legs twisted. And so we were. A blind man. Leading a cripple. <laughs> found this place. I'm nice pants, bro. We need to see to these wounds. I won't leave Rose in here. I'll own he'll die. And he can't go back to his home. He's deserted. They'll hang him. They'll hang him. They'll with us. They'll hang us all, my Laisha included. No, the black one stays here. So the black ones are the Nilf Guardians. Brother's right, it's too risky. If not for him, Bastion be dead. I mean, that's true, but at the same time... <sighs> It's better he's dead and Bastion lives than them being found out to, like, conspire against whoever these guys were. Your brother's right, Bastion. Nilf Guardians know no mercy. They live by their law. A law that's cruel as hell towards any who hide deserters or aid them. Yeah. Rosin, I'll bring you food and an herbalist. You'll see. In a week or two, you just go. 
Thank you, Witcher. Your reward. And the gods protect you. Okay. How much did you pay me? <laughs> uh, 25 experience points. That's great. And where's my money? Maybe it already went into my purse. I'm not sure. But okay. Um, I think that was the right thing to do. I don't know a whole lot about the struggles between the Nilfgaards and the, the other people and everything like that yet. Hopefully we learn more about that, but it seems that may have been the right thing to do. Kind of a dick move, I'll give you that, because, you know, he got his life saved by the enemy. Uh, but I guess in the end of the day, he was the enemy. So perhaps that was the right thing to do. I don't know. Let me know what you guys would have done down in the comments. I'm curious to see where your moral compasses lie and where your moral compasses tell you to do. Um, but let's see. Oh, it looks like there's some flowers to get. Hello there. Got some wolf's bane and everything like that. And uh, ask the Nilf Guardians about Yennefer. Okay, so that's our next quest right now. But looks like we got 23 minutes, or we're 23 minutes into the into the video. Uh, there is another quest that we have: the Witcher contract right here. Ask Odalon about the contract. I want to do this because we were able to kill enemies at level four. So if this is only a level two contract, there's no reason we shouldn't be able to do it, right? I would hope. So let me ride on over to the town, talk to this Odalon guy, and um, we'll see where that takes us. Oh, but wait a second. Bandit camp? Oh, there's like a, so many damn things I want to do. It's crazy, man. It's at a bridge, too. Should we fuck him up? I think we should fuck him up. <clears throat> Ow! Jesus! Okay, that fucking hurt me. Damn! Alright, let's let's go ahead and let's put this shield back on. Can I can I please put my shield back on? Okay, it's oh, it's recharging right now. Okay. Alright, these guys are human, so I think they should be easier to kill. I'm hoping. Okay, I know I hit block at the correct time, too. So I don't know exactly why it didn't block. Maybe I didn't do it quick enough? Possible? Okay, those arrows keep landing at my feet, and it is not making me feel very comfortable. So I think that other bar beneath their health bar, that's their kind of, like, stamina bar that they can use for blocking. I don't know what I just picked up, but I liked it. I think that's what they can use for blocking, if I'm not mistaken. Oh, I got linen from him. What a lovely fella. Now, where is this archer? Is he right there? Okay, perfect. Hi, big guy. Oh, yeah, it's it's definitely that. Oh, my good lord. I just cut his whole hand off. That was amazing. Wolf hide and a small blackjack. Okay. Now, what's here? Aha, there's a chest. Nilfgaardian Longsword and three Florins. And I believe that is the bandit camp done. Yes, I want to say, because it's grayed out, it looks like. Or at least from my position, it looks like it's grayed out. Yeah. Yeah, that's definitely done. Because if we look at these, these are grayed out as well, just like that. Okay, now I'm going to try not to get distracted in the 463 step, the steps that it's going to take me to get to where I need to be. Um, so with that, I'll meet you guys there, hopefully. <laughs> All right, so it looks like we're here. I passed something on the map. It was an exclamation point. I have to imagine in, like, basic RPGs, the exclamation points are always other quests. So it's possible there's another one over there, but we're not going to check it out right now. But let's see. Let's just barge into this man's house and talk to him. Oh, he's got a cool symbol next to his face. That's the contract symbol, I think. But let's talk to him. Oodalan or Oodlan. Greetings, good man. Having trouble with your well? That's what I read. Aye. Tis haunted. Has been for a good twenty years. Twenty? So why do you put out a notice just now? Because earlier on we drew our water from the river. But so many corpses floating in it after the battle has turned noxious. My daughter Mandy drank half a pitcher. Felt dreadful ill. Can't keep nothing down. She grows worse by the day. Herbalist claims you fight a fever with drink. And not beer nor cider, but water. Clear, pure water. And where am I to get that if not from the well? But first, the ghost's got to be driven away. The ghost? Don't let any man near. Describe the ghost. This ghost. Describe it for me. Well, it's awful frightening. Awful. I meant what does it look like? It looks like a woman, but fresh from the grave. Wears a dirty dress, all rags. It's skin flaking off its bones huh? and it howls like it's suffering some wraith 
Huh? Or maybe an alb. If you don't wallop it, master. If you don't take care of it, that is, it'll come kill me daughter. Okay. Let's talk about my reward. I feel for you, but this is my job. So let's talk about my pay. Something not right with the coin. You can haggle people? Are you kidding me? Haggle for a higher reward. Choose an amount using left and confirm your choice by pressing A. If your counterparty accepts your offer, you've made a deal. If your offer is too high, your counterparty will grow annoyed. Push too hard and he or she will break off negotiations. Okay, so right now my base rate is 20. Let's see if we can get him to go up another three coins. That settles it then. Perfect. Three coins, I'll take it. That's fine. I'll help you. Fine, I'll help. Where's this well? In Havel. A settlement on the heights. It's abandoned now. No one ventures there on account of the ghost being about. Drive it off. Please. Okay. So we have the contract now. Perfect. We're bound by blood. No, we're bound by the, the, the letter and the writing on the paper. But I believe that's what we're going to do in the beginning of the next episode. I apologize to leave it on a nice cliffhanger there, but we are unfortunately at 30 minutes for today. So I hope you guys are excited. I know I am. We're going to go possibly fight a wraith. Uh, that's kind of scary. But hopefully everyone had a great time today. Um, if you did, let me know down there in the comment section. If not, just dislike the video. That's fine. But... Thank you guys so much for coming on by. Hope you have a great rest of your day. And I will see you in the next video.